Does anyone else just like can't be bothered to post on Instagram anymore? Because Instagram is dying. Let's look at the astrology behind it. This is the birth chart of Instagram. Yes, social media platforms have birth charts. Every single thing that is alive and was founded, created on a specific day and time has a birth chart. Instagrams has a lot of Libra placements. And what is Libra known for in its most shadow? Superficiality and image. Vanity. Connection that is rooted in status. Not only that, but Instagram was born during the Pluto and Capricorn transit and we are leaving that transit next year in 2024. When the Pluto and Capricorn transit started in 2008, we began a cycle as a society that was based in status. This is when the Kardashians came to light. This is when people really started to flaunt their, like, what is that called? Uh, plastic surgery and like just do things based on status and how they were going to be perceived in the mainstream because of what they were doing, right? The Kardashians are a perfect example. They flaunt their wealth through what they own. The, that is very Capricorn energy at its most shadow, okay? We're talking about the shadow side of all these signs because social media really brings that out of people and Instagram brings it out the most. But now that we're leaving the Pluto and Capricorn phase and cycle as a society, we're transitioning into Aquarius. Inquiry Aquarius is all about realness. It's about authenticity. It's about coming together in true connection for a greater good and a greater cause. Humanitarianism, fighting for causes that we believe in. This is a map of the current transits applied to Instagram's chart. So not only do we have the south node, which is this like upside down horseshoe over here, going through Instagram's Libra placements, but look at where Instagram's Libra placements are. This is the exact time, by the way, of Instagram that when a first post was posted. So that's what I'm going off of for the birth time. And it is no surprise to me that Instagram has all this Libra placements in the house of social media. And right now, what's happening in Instagram's house of social media? A big release and a pulling away from this energy, from superficiality, from vanity and connection from showing off our things, what we've bought, our luxurious goods, like flaunting our status and flaunting our wealth with things. We are coming away from that as a society and we're fucking tired of it. It's been 15 years too long of it, especially since we already had Pluto move into Aquarius this year in 2023 at the end of March. It moved back into Capricorn in June and it will be there until January 20th of 2024. Pluto will move back into Capricorn a little bit for two months in 2024, but it's never going to be nobody alive today is going to see it happen ever again. And because we've already had a taste of Pluto and Aquarius, we're really craving the authenticity from social media, especially in how we connect with people and what content we're consuming. Instagram was created on a superficial foundation. It was created to share highlight reels of your life. When it started, there were no stories, there were no videos, hardly. It was just photos. And when it first came out, it was only available for iPhone users. Like if that doesn't tell you what Instagram is about, like as a foundation and a base, no matter how many things they try to change, it's still going to be that. And it has truly changed our society to crave those types of moments where we can capture to know how like to share how good our lives are. But really, that's just a highlight reel. And what has TikTok brought to the table? TikTok has brought us authenticity and realness and people just being who they are, showing up in their fucking living rooms with nothing, nothing fake about it, nothing curated about it. That's the one thing we're all hating about Instagram, right? Is how curated it is. And it's exhausting to keep up that curation because it's not real. And to produce what's not real over and over and over requires energy. And we no longer have that energy to expend on fakeness. Now, I'm really curious to see what happens to Instagram in the next couple of years because Neptune is right now on Instagram's Jupiter and Uranus. So Instagram is going through a lot of changes, but we're kind of eluded from like what those changes actually are. And if anyone's actually gonna like hop on them and create with them, continue to create with the changes that Instagram's pumping out because honestly it's just too much at this point like what I love about TikTok is that I can just press record or I can stitch another person's video like I did here and just press record and share you guys my share with you guys my thoughts on it and not it doesn't have to be super curated or perfect and that's what I feel Instagram will never lose is this feeling of like things have to look perfect they have to be curated or I can't share it I kind of feel like at this point, if Instagram doesn't change completely, then it never will. And it will just kind of die like MySpace did. I don't know. What do you guys think?